Good evening. This is your girl, Lady J. Listen, I want to talk about Mother Nature. I want to talk about everything about Mother Nature and how beautiful it was today. You know, my man decided to take me and my family uh, and his family on a journey to Frederick. Um, it was a park. It was beautiful, y'all. It was like, all you see is beautiful big trees and a whole bunch of benches. You've seen people with their husband or wives, with their children and, and their dogs. But everybody was scattered. It wasn't even 10 people there. You know, everybody was coming and going. I mean, it was beautiful. It's almost like people were just showing each other respect. Like, they would come there for a little bit, then they would leave. Um, and, you know, of course, we went and we bought food and some snacks and refreshments. And we sat out there, um, at, um, you know, at a bench um, with four of us. And um, we just talked. And, you know, one of the things my man talked about was just how much peace he had. And, you know, and, and you know, he likes being, you know, among nature. And I, I do too. I mean, as a writer, that's a good place to be because you don't hear unnecessary noise. You know, you, you only hear uh, nature talking. You know, you're surrounded by peace. And so I'm just here to tell you, like, that's the best place to be right now. For those who want to get out, go to the park. You know, go to places where, you know, not so many people there. You know, you can really embrace um, nature. You can really embrace Mother Nature in so many ways. It was just so beautiful. And you never know how beautiful it is until you get some things taken away because of the coronavirus. And we've been so quarantined in our houses. You never know how beautiful it is. You know, we never really, we never really get to a place where we appreciate Mother Nature. We don't appreciate the, the trees and the grass and the flowers and all these things that groom and that bloom. We, we, we just never take advantage of it. And we're always so quick to um, play in it, roll in it, <laughs> cook out in it, but we don't really embrace it. We don't really embrace it to the point where we become intimate, um, to the place that we love on it. And I, I might sound like I'm crazy, but listen, Nature, Mother Nature, the the whole is beautiful. It's beautiful, and when you learn to embrace it, um, you know you learn to be at a peace where you can go somewhere outside of the the realm which you normally be, which is your household, and you go to another place where you know it's not so many people there. It, you know, it's just you and nature. So beautiful. You can hear the birds chirping and people just conversating, you know, away from one another, doing their own thing. And it was just beautiful today. And I just thank God that my man decided, you know, to take us out for a little bit. It was it was really, really needed. So, again, I am just, just want to just pass this along. Just to get out and enjoy Mother Nature. I mean, you'll really, really be glad you did. And, um, you know, I, I meditate in the morning and at night. So meditation is the best medicine. Again, meditation is the best medicine. If you can meet me here tomorrow from 7 to 730, I will be meditating at night. For those who may be stressed out, uh, full of anxiety, maybe having some depression issue, listen, meditation is the best medicine. I will be here, meet me here from 7 to 7.30, okay? And every night I'm going to be meditating, okay? We're going to be hearing some some music, calming music, and I'm going to be talking to you. I'm going to be telling you to say this and to say that. And one of the things is the, this power um, and your tongue is power in words. So I'm going to be getting you to say things like, I'm beautiful and I'm okay and everything's working for me. Uh, no weapon for me against me so prosper. Uh, I, you know, and them are the things that, you know, we need to constantly be mindful. You know, you just be consistent in reminding yourself that you're an overcomer of everything that you're up against. Okay. Nothing is going to overtake you. For the Bible declares that God will raise a standard. When the enemy comes in like a flood. So, you know, we just got to be in a place of peace and in a place of, 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 of just being submissive to God's word, being submissive, okay, to God, just knowing that he got us. We are okay, okay? But 
God sends you people like me that can help you along the way, okay? So that you can continue to walk this journey um, in peace. You know, it, you know, we don't have to be like the world, okay? Okay, the world only know their own, okay? Be not conformed to this world. So don't get so uh, hysterical and 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 panicking and come on, we got to get to a place of peace. Well, we lean not to our own understanding, but always acknowledge God, okay? Acknowledge God, okay? He's the restorer of our soul, okay? We have to rest in the hands of God. And we have to trust Him now, okay? Trust Him in the process. Everything's working for your good, okay? So this is your girl, Lady J. Be here from 7 to 7.30 on tomorrow. And we're going to meditate. And I'm going, I'm trying to tell you, this works for me. This allow me to just be mindful of who I am, who I serve, and how awesome that we are. So I'm just going to remind you every night of who you are, okay? Because there's power in your tongue and that what you speak manifests. So we have to be consistent and empowering ourselves with positive thoughts. And that's what I'm going to do for you on tomorrow from 7 to 7.30. Be here. Okay. We're going to light our candles. Okay. If you don't have candles, go buy some. Okay. Lady J is going to have candles lit so that the aroma, that's important, the aroma in the room. Oh, my God. You're going to feel the presence of God on tomorrow. Okay. All right. So be here from 7 to 7.30 um, on tomorrow. I will be doing it every night. Monday through Friday. I'll be doing it. Um, and I, I'm trying to tell you it's going to bless you, okay? Now, I got to go. I want to cut this short. I just want to let you know how great of a day I had on today. And I want you, I want you to go and embrace Mother Nature as I did today. Okay? Until next time. Remember, nothing happens until you happen. Happen on tomorrow. Be here from 7 to 7.30 where we are going to meditate. And you're going to be happy that you showed up. Okay? Until next time. Peace.